name is Brittany. This is my friend Kara Cotter and our lovely model Jana. We're hanging out down here at Beauty Brands of Plaza. That's KC Mo, Kansas City, Missouri. And this is series four of our BB Spritz series. The last one of the series. Boo. Yeah. This has been so much fun this month. We're glad you guys got to join us. Um, again, this is Facebook Live. I'll have the iPad with me. And whatever comments you have, questions about your own hair, about products we are using today, products you want to check out, um, ask us on there. We'll have live links to all the products we're going to use today. So please feel free to comment. And if you do comment, you will be eligible to win one in five $50 gift cards and beauty brands, which is awesome. And we'll announce uh, last week's winners as well. So we've been doing lots of um, fun styles for you guys to replicate yourself at home. Kara, let's do a little chinky cheers. cheers. Turned up Tuesday. Nice. <laughs> and Kara, what are we doing at Jana today? What's um, the look we're going to do for today? So today is undone to updo. Undone to updo. Yeah, I'll take your cup for you. Yeah, take your glass. Okay, so what's this looking like? So Kara prepped Jana's hair with uh, what did you use? with the Moroccan oil. Moroccan um, oil tox, tossle textured, texture spray. Yeah, texture tossle spray. Um, tossle texture spray is great because it's um, paraben free, cruelty free. Um, it's also on the hairspray sale right now for $9.99. It's just a great um, prep spray for this look. Right. So tell us what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to take uh, Jana's hair from down and we're going to put it up um, in, a, in a top knot. A big, lovely top knot. So those big, fun, glamorous top knots, like when I do a top knot, I look like a samurai with like the thimble from Monopoly <laughs> on my head. So it's not very glamorous. It's all like slick back and weird. So right. we're going to make this one big and full, right? Right. So, okay. yep, that's what we're going to show today. We're going to awesome. um, not do the thimble. Not no thimble. Today. Not thimble. Today. That's for no. sewing, not for hair. No. Okay, so what's the first step? You're going to put her hair up in a ponytail. Up in the ponytail. We're going to tease it and Great. then we're going to smooth it out and pin it up. Okay. Yep. So let's get going on that. We'll get hair. Okay. So Kara's going to put Jana's hair up in a ponytail. And as she's working with that, we're going to go through and start um, checking in on our comments and questions that you guys have. So Kara's using um, our awesome little three row backcombing brush, brush that we used last week. So what are we doing, Kara? Um, we're just going to tease the front part of her hair. Um, we don't want it to be a sleeked down um, ponytail mm -hmm. and then to a big bun. We want some volume all over. Okay, so all over volume. And again, that um, tousled texture spray by Moroccan Oil, that's gonna help give that extra volume too. So just working a little back combing. Yep. Glenda says, hey Glenda, she says, I wish you could come and do my hair every morning. So do I, because hair is awesome. So <laughs> Jana says, me too. We hear that all the time. Um, as you guys are watching this, please like this, share it, show us some love, um, share it on your page, share it with friends that you know. So. Kara's smoothing out a little bit of that back homing, smoothing it back. Very good. Working yeah. it through. Yeah. Um, Jana, how handy are you at home doing your own hair? What's your uh, style level? I'm maybe like a three. I can do, <laughs> I can do a couple things, but I got my two things and then that's about it. Okay. So as she's um, putting Jana's hair back in the ponytail, she's going to use just a traditional ponytail holder, but you could also use, if you have thick hair, you could use these Invisibobbies. Invisibobbies are um, great for people with really thick or have lots of hair. They're stretchy, they keep their shape, and they're great for, um, they don't, give damage to your hair. Um, we're also going to work with products they were using are the Redken Quick Dry Spray number 18 and we're also going to work with the Control Attic by Redken number 28. Control Attic is a great firm hairspray. It has humidity resistors in it. It's quick drying. This is a layering hairspray. So put on one layer, put on four medium hold, put on two layers for extra hold, or keep layering for more and more hold and humidity resistant. This is a hold level 28 on a scale of 32. So Control Attic is a pretty um, pretty hard hold hairspray. Control Attic is the name of the hairspray, not a name my husband called me. Control Attic. <laughs> okay, um, and then quick dry number 18. This is another um, firmer holding hairspray. Just quick dry, easy to use at home. It gives a nice natural shine and finish. Oh, okay. see, that looks cute. So we have it up. Um, so she's got a little couple of flyaways, so now we're going to spare her hair and make sure all those are laid down before we start teasing her. Ooh, Amanda says she loves the macadamia product. It is great. Yes, we love it too. Thanks, Amanda. Okay, so um, what's that you're doing? Again, with the hairspray can. <laughs> uh, so we're spraying the hair, and we're just going to kind of comb everything up and then spray it and run the can over the hair, the surface of the hair. Yeah, so that's a little hairspray hack. So instead of using your hand and getting maybe getting hairspray on your hand and getting it sticky, you can spray the hair first and just use the cool side of the can and smooth up all those little extra flyaways everybody gets when you wear hair up. Very nice. Yes. Um, Emily wants to know, did she curl her hair prior to back combing? My hair is pretty thick and I feel like when I try to top knot, it doesn't hold well. 
So you had you had like a little wave in your hair, yeah, right? Just a little beach wave. Yeah. Like did you use a like a curling iron or a waving mm -hmm. iron? Yeah, okay. a curling iron. She did have a small, a somewhat wave in her hair when we started, um, Emily, and. Um, it wasn't natural. It wasn't a natural wave. Just something she put in there with a thermal iron. So yes, yeah, she did have a wave, but it was from an iron. Um, what are some tips for Emily to help her top knot hold better? Um, the teasing. What we're getting ready to do right now is okay. really going to help. This I can sleep in these things, right? And they look perfect the next day. Like it's, it's like amazing. Prom night hair. We're at church on Sunday morning. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So she's got her hair in a ponytail. So yep. she's going to just start. Get wild with this. You're going to back home the heck out of it, right? Yes, ma'am. This is what's going to give it hold and just give us that big, fun, glamorous top knot. Nice and full. Yep. So I'm going from the base all the way to the ends, and I'm going to do the whole ponytail. Awesome. So she's back combing base to the ends. Ooh la la. Looking good. Pump the base. Yeah. So also, um, Kara's back combing right now. She's also going to use um, hair pins and bobby pins. So a bobby pin, um, you know, looks like this. It's closed together and crimped on one mm -hmm. side. A hair pin is more open like this and almost a little more U-shaped. Kara, what's the difference between hair pins and bobby pins? What can our users at home, how can they know the difference and what are they for? Um, bobby pins are more for the hold um, and hair pins are more for like the little wisp of pieces that come out and you just need to pin it in really quick. Great. So bobby pins are going to be more for anchoring, anchoring and securing mm -hmm. and hair pins, the ones that are open, those are just more for surface grazing and just lightly getting in those surface pieces. Right. Yeah. As you guys are um, watching and listening, please shout us out with your comments, questions. We'd love to hear from you. Um, some of our winners last week who won a $50 <laughs> gift card. Ooh, look at that. She's winning. <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> we had um, Jessica Bowman from last week. She commented, and she is a winner of a $50 gift card. Um, Elizabeth Ollendorf, she also won a $50 gift card. We had Praveen Tahir, you won a gift card. Um, Casey Knipp, what's up, Casey? She's, um, she also won a gift card. And um, we have one more gift card that didn't get claimed. So um, they'll tag you in the comments. So please follow back up. If you're a winner of a gift card, um, shoot us a message on the Facebook page and you will claim your gift card. All right, look at that. Okay, so you've got to get, um, you back homed it. You're mm -hmm. working the first section. So what direction are you going? I'm going clockwise. Um, okay. I go clockwise on my hair. I go clockwise on my client's hair. Okay. So um, she's got those big back home pieces. You kind of beveled it forward and kind of tucked yep. it under itself, right? Yep. So awesome. I kind of took it from this side and went this way with it. Okay. So everything's, I'm, and I'm smoothing it out as I go. So okay. we still have this, and I'm going to smooth all that out so, as we get there. Okay. So Carrie, yeah, she's kind of bending it under, smoothing it, and you're pinning it with a bobby pin? With a bobby pin. Okay. Yep. Very good. And smoothing under. Yep. And I'm pinning about every inch or so. Okay. About every inch or so. And how many inches away from her base ponytail would you say you are? So here's the base ponytail. So I would say like two and a half, three inches away okay. from the ponytail. Hi, Caitlin. Caitlin A just joined. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Barb. How are you? Okay, so she's pinning and smoothing. It's looking good so far. You can see it coming to life. And it immediately already looks better than my thimble, slick back, sweaty samurai bun that I do because <laughs> I have little to no hair, but that's okay. <laughs> Believe me, I have the same kind of hair, so I totally get it. We hope you guys have stopped in store and picked up some hairspray again. This is the last week of the hairspray sale. April 1st is Saturday? Saturday. This weekend yeah. is April 1st. I can't believe March is already over with March Madness and spring and rain and everything else and turn back time we've had. So April 1st is the last day of the hairspray sale, so please come in store or hop online and order yourself. Um, get this great value for our hairspray sale. If you order three of the products that are on the hairspray and dry shampoo sale, you will get a full-size soy tri-wheat leave-in conditioner, which is an excellent value. Okay, so she's working those back home pieces around. And so tell us what you're doing, Carrie. You're just brushing and wrapping? So, yep, just brushing and wrapping, um, kind of awesome. smoothing everything out and, again, pinning as I go. Cool. Kind of keeping my hand where it needs to be so I can get the shape and the feel and everything right. And the back combing at home when you do it on yourself, it can be kind of intimidating. Like, oh, is this damaging my hair? Is this too much? Is it not enough? That back combing is really important to get the base in for that high glamour volume of this look. Because um, then you can always go over and graze it over and smooth it out. So having that really kind of heavier back combing is what kind of makes or breaks this look. Okay, turning around, working it clockwise. And so if anybody had um, somebody with really thick hair, what are some tips that we could do for this? Um, thick hair, I don't really think that people need to tease it too much. Right. Um, if you've got super thick hair, just 
put it in a braid, a rope braid, and yeah. let it be, you know, flounce it out a little bit. Loosen it up and pin it and go. Yeah. So if your hair is an extra thick, you could put it in a rope braid or a rope braid or regular braid, um, spray it with a tossed texture spray and pin it around and just kind of flounce it out where you loosen the braid and just make it like nice and big and full. So. What do you All think right. it's so far, Diana? I love it. It looks like I have so much hair. Yeah, like tons of hair. <laughs> I love that. So cute. Yeah, so guys, keep those questions and comments rolling. We love hearing from you guys here on Facebook Live. Um, this is our first time we've gotten to do something like this on Beauty Brands, this BB Spritz series. We've had a lot of fun. Hopefully, we'll get to do some more. So if you keep those questions and likes and loves rolling, we'll get to do, hopefully, keep continuing to do these. So, yeah. And you get to know about um, great hairspray hacks from us professionals here at Beauty Brands, which is a ton of fun. So, so right now, I'm just taking the pins um, and going through and kind of like pushing up. So these are hairpins or yeah, bobby pins? Yeah, hairpins. That, so she's using the open hairpins. Yeah, I'm just pushing pieces in or moving pieces around that I kind of want to smooth out a little bit. So cute. So she's just pushing those hairpins into the surface, making sure she has any loose ends. And which spray do you have there? This is quick dry. I'm actually okay. going to do quick dry for the final. Good. Redken quick dry. So she's spraying it with the Redken quick dry number 18 and using that little hairspray hack where you take the can and smooth it all out. And you can do it on the bun too. So lovely. So cute. This would be a great look um, if you're going to lunch with your girlfriends or if you have plans for Easter Sunday, if you're going to brunch with your family, if you have a big get together. This is just an extra lovely look just for something a little more, um, a little more fancy. It just takes an average ponytail and makes it high glam. Yeah, and it didn't take long. I mean, no. it takes, you know, seven minutes maybe. Yeah, at not most. long at all. Yeah. At most. How's it feel on your head, Jana? Feels good. It feels like nothing's really going anywhere. It feels secure. Feels secure? Yeah, I like it. Feels like you could just take it down exactly. and swing it around like Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah. Just have a ton a, of hair side, side to side. <laughs> there's a lot of teas. I don't know if you're taking it down and swinging it. <laughs> like it's going to last all weekend. <laughs> right. Love this look. Hi, Wendy. We love you too. Thanks for tuning in. Cynthia Orr says, I love beauty brands. I would love to see some more medium length hairstyle videos. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right. So that's it. It's looking that's good. That's it. All right. Looks cute. Very good. Yeah. All right, let's see if we have any more comments rolling in. Again, let's go over um, our winners of last week. Um, $50 gift card. Keep those comments rolling. Um, this link will be open until 11.59 p.m. Um, Central Time tonight. And you can still keep commenting, asking questions. And there will be live links so you can order these products that we're using, the um, Redken hairsprays or the Tossled Texture Spray. There'll be a link for you to check it out and order it yourself. Um, our winners last week for the gift card, we have Jessica Bowman, Elizabeth Ollendorf, um, Praveen Tahir and Casey Knip. They all four won $50 gift cards last week just for tuning in and watching, which is great. So um, I've had some people tell me, oh, I saw you, I watched your Facebook Live, or I was at work, or I was in my car driving, like watching, oh, I was driving, which is, uh, be careful. That's kind of scary. Yeah, kind of scary, but that's okay. Hold over, like, please. They're dedicated, <laughs> everyone's dedicated. So, uh, Jana, what's your favorite hairspray? What hairspray have you been using? Oh, man. On the sale? Um, let's see. I use the Sexy Hair, the Spray and Play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that one. It's great. Yeah. It's a good play. A good, good hold, good like spray and play. It's easy to use. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. All right. We've got some more. Hi, Kara. Any more questions? Very cute. Is there a hairspray you can recommend that would, can safely be used prior to applying a hot tool? So Estella wants to ask, um, what's a hairspray that you can use spray on your hair first before we use a hot tool? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say a hairspray. I would do like a hot set or a, a thermal iron shaper. Spray. A thermal spray is Definitely. better. Um, hairspray, you're just going to fry your hair. Yeah. Doing it that way. It's just not really, um, there's, hairspray is, they're meant for a finishing to acquire hold, mm -hmm. not really necessarily heat protection. So right. again, the firewall by AG is a great one. Mm -hmm. um, the what's it called? Iron, Iron, Iron Shape shaper. by Redken mm -hmm. is another great thermal yep. spray. Um, Estella, you could try. We should suggest a thermal spray, not necessarily a hairspray. Um, we'd love to see what you do with Bob's. It's looking great. Okay, good deal. All right, ladies. Well, um, this has been it. Again, keep commenting. We hope you get in, um, come in store to Beauty Brands and get the last week of our hairspray sales. This is the final week for the hairspray sale. We've had so much fun with you this month of March. Thank you for giving us your time and sharing us the love and the likes. We hope you've enjoyed all our fun looks we've had. We've had a blast doing it. So cheers to you and cheers, ladies. Cheers. Thank you.